Okay, this is called a standing hip flexor, and we're going to go ahead and start by going forward. And what I'm doing is I'm rocking off of my back ball of the foot. One detail that's important is that my back foot is placed straight forward or even slightly turned in at the toe. Watch because your toe is going to start to turn out as you go. So you want to keep um, bringing it back in. I'm going forward in this forward direction. I feel this stretch through here. I'm specifically holding on for balance. After about five there, I'm going to go laterally, pushing against my, my wall or whatever I'm holding on to, to push my hip out, reaching my arm over my ear. Now I'm going to go circles, circling through the hip joint. We're lubricating, heating, softening up those hip sockets to allow the knees and the lower back change directions to have an easier go at things. Just like that, through my range, noticing where I'm tight, giving that a little bit more time. Here's the most important one. Check your foot, make sure it's not turning out. Go forward, turn out, getting it a stretch in that hip socket. We're rotating those hip sockets, just like that. Forward, turn out. Feel how far you should go. You'll know when you get to the end of that range. And your body will start to give up a little bit more if you're gentle with it. Now we're going to go forward and turn in. So what we're doing is we're taking care of those hip joints, those hip sockets, in all different directions, lubricating, softening, strengthening those parts. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Okay, again, remember that you want to place your toe slightly turned in. Your toe is going to start to turn out because the hip is usually, usually tight. Reaching forward through the hip, reaching long through the spine, long through the head. That arm goes overhead. Now, if you have a shoulder problem, you don't have to use the arm. You can just use the hips. Now we're going to go laterally. I come forward and I go lateral. I'm pushing against the wall, pushing my hip out, bringing my arm right over that ear because this is also stretching the rib cage. Circles. I'm going through circles. It's always best to have something to hold on to. A wall is not the best because I can't hang on to it going away from the wall. Change directions. If I could hold on to something that I could grip onto, that would be better, a shelf or something. Good, just like that. Now here becomes the most important one. Check your foot, make sure it's turned in. I come forward, turn out. You'll feel it right through here. Again, come forward, turn out. Now if you feel this in your lower back, that's not necessarily bad. You always want to um, stop if you're feeling a pinch, but I may feel this pulling in my back because my hips are tight. Now I'm gonna turn the other way, just like that, reaching through the arm, through the torso, keeping my torso upright. Very good, standing hip flexor.